Right, so our first unit we're going to start is on graphing. And so our first lesson is about plotting points or graphing points. Um, so first we're going to talk about how you plot a point. Uh, uh, the following is a coordinate point or just coordinate. And it's made from an X value and a Y value. The X value is how many left or right, left being negative and right being positive. And the Y value is how many up or down. Up being a positive and down being a negative. So um, if we were to have a point like 3, negative 5, then the x value is our left or right. Since the 3 is positive, then we're going to go right. 3, and since the 5 is negative, that means we're going to go down. So we're going to go right 3 and down 5. Now, the where are we going right 3 and down 5 from? We always start always start at 0, 0, or what we call the origin. And so whenever we're plotting a point, we're always going to start from the origin. All right, so what we have here is what we call a coordinate plane. It is created from an x and an x axis and a y axis. So the horizontal is our x axis. The vertical is our y axis, which correlates with the fact that x goes left and right and y goes up and down. Um, and then we have names for our quadrants. So uh, we start with our first quadrant. We call it Q1 or Quad1 or Quadrant1. And we use Roman numerals. So it looks like Quadrant I. And Quadrant1 is made of both positive x and positive y. So we have positive x values, positive y values. And then we go counterclockwise. So quadrant 2, quadrant 2 is made up of negative x values but positive y values. So negative x, positive y. And then we go into quadrant 3. Quadrant 3 has negative x values and negative y values. And then our last one is quadrant 4. And quadrant 4 is positive x but negative y. And so if you, you can recognize the quadrant just as by looking at the sign of the the x value and the y value, or you can also look at where it's plotted and just know that our positive positive is where we start with 1, and then we go counterclockwise from there. Um, up until now, you've probably done a lot of graphing in quadrant 1 uh, with some graphing in the other three quadrants. All right, so we're going to practice graphing some points. We're going to graph our first point here. So we have, I'm going to write it down here, B is at negative 6, 3. So we're going to start at our origin. Negative 6 means we're going to go left 6. So I'm going to go left, that's 2, 4, 6. And then positive 3 means go up 3. 1, 2, 3. And so here's co coordinate B, or point B, and 
it's where x is negative 6 and y is 3. And if we look for c, c is going to be graphed at 2, 0. So I'm going to go right to, because x value is left or right. Um, and then it tells me to go nowhere for my y. So this point is located on the x-axis. And that was c. D, we're negative 6, negative 1. So that means left 6, down 1. So left 6, down 1. And there's my point D. E is 7, negative 2. So we're going to go right 7 and down 2. And that's where I'm going to place my E. So again, right 7 down 2, because there's a positive 7 with a negative 2. And then our last point is F, which is located at negative 10, negative 8. And so we're going to go left 10 and down 8. No, go back. There we go. And that's where F is. So we didn't plot any in quadrant 1. Uh, quad, uh, point B is in our quadrant 2. D and F are located in quadrant 3. And then point E is located in quadrant 4. C, notice that I was not listed on any of the quadrants. That's because we would say that C lies on the x-axis. And so uh, it's an x-intercept is one way to also think about it. All right, last thing we're going to do for our notes today is name each of these coordinate points. So for a coordinate point, you have to have parentheses. Otherwise, it's just a list of numbers. Um, so again, you have to have parentheses. Um, so when we look at point B, here's where point B is. So I'm going to look and see what my x value is. And I'm between the negative 4 and the negative 6 which means I am at negative 5, so b is negative 5. Then I'm going to look at my y value, and I come across, we're below the, or we're between the 6 and the 8, which means we're sitting at negative 5, positive 7. Uh, our next point is c, so I'm going to come look at c. I'm going to look down at where we are on the x value or on the x axis and we're at the point 10 or the coordinate 10. And then I'm going to go to the left to see where I am on the y. And I'm between the 4 and the 6, which means we are at 5. So C is located at 10, comma 5, although that does look like a 6. So 10, comma 5. D is located over here. If I'm going to go up to the x-axis first, we're located at negative 10, so negative 10. And then I'm going to go over to the y-axis and see where I'm located there, which in this case is negative 8. And so D is located at negative 10, negative 8. Uh, e, we're going to go to the x-axis, so I'm at 1 because I'm between 0 and 2. And then I'm going to go over to the y-axis. And the y-axis, I went, I'm down, right? I'm between 0 and negative 2, so that means I'm at negative 1. So E is located at 1, negative 1. And then F is our last one. F is, I'm at 2. There's two ways to go. I can go from my point down, or I can go from the origin and see how far I go over. So we went over 2, and then from 2 we went up 2. So F is located at the point 2, 2. Um, so this should be review uh, of material you have done before. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Until next time.